Uh, but I, I really want to try to focus on the good parts while it lasted before things changed. And, and otherwise, I would go crazy. Do you know why they changed? I'm not sure. You know, it, it's... Well, we read it was another man. We read it was another woman. I mean, I, I hear. I, I've heard all these things. I've, I've never, you know, I've never... This thing about the other woman, this is, I mean, this is something that the press cooked up. I never, ever saw anything like that. I live with her. I never saw another woman. I don't believe the uh, woman uh, is innately cruel. I don't. I just think that something happened. It's like maybe the relationship had a, had, was hot and furious and passionate, and it just ran its course. And then after the smoke of passion cleared away, we had two strangers staring at each other. So but there wasn't another man that broke it up? I don't know. I, you know, I hear rumors. Do I know of anyone definitely at the time of the marriage? I didn't know of anything at the time, no. Is she out of your life? Um, when you say out of my life, you mean is she like out of my heart? Is she out of your heart? Yes. But not out of your head? Well, I, I you know, I, I, I don't think of it because it's, it hurts. You know, it's like, it, it's, anyone who's been through it, it hurts. So I, I, it's always there and always will be there. Did you really meet because she sent you a photograph in the hotel room and a number? It must have been quite a photograph. What was it? It was a model layout. Um, it was, uh, I think, two pictures on one side and clothes, and the other one is, is like a bathing suit. Don't you get pictures lots of times from women? Yeah, but this one was seven feet long. Was it really? <laughs> <laughs> was it was it really? actual size. Did she really send yeah. you a huge, huge picture that just kept opening up? It took up? three bellhops to bring it up. Did it, it really? No kidding. No, it was a, it was a big, nice picture. It How was, big? It was big enough to <laughs> blow my mind, okay? <laughs> so you picked I went, up the telephone? You gotta be kidding. This is, no, this is a joke. This is a composite of incredible parts stuck together. I must find out what this I is. I must. This doesn't exist. <laughs> and then... Uh, I went to see her and, uh, and knocked on the door, and uh, the door opened, and I looked up at this towering inferno. I said, my God, my God. <laughs> it was like, wonderful. And, and, and uh, the picture sure did her justice, and that was the way it was. But see, again, I don't want to lose that. Yeah. And you say, what? What is that you don't want to lose? I'll tell you. What I don't want to lose is that sense of adventure and spirit and, and saying, yes, I, you see a woman a mile away, you say, oh, I, I want to meet her, there's something, there's, and, and just go up and take a chance is what I'm saying. Yeah. And you're afraid that if you get better, you won't. Oh, no, you, you know? never, absolutely. You'd have to have her checked out by 50 people. Who is it? Yeah. Who has she been with? She's going to take you. Is she going to take me, right. Then I have to ask you, as part of that, did she take a lot of money? Was, I mean, we read six million dollars. No, no. I can't discuss the facts, but not even close. But it wasn't that you were, you know, that, the, that, that you minded the money. It's that you mind, the, you the, mind the falling in love, the innocence, yes, whatever. Yes, yes, yes. I mind, the, I mind the, the, the heartache. Yes. Money is something that can be replaced. Yes. Memories can't. While we're on it, and then we'll get off and talk about other things. Uh, you've had a little publicity with Cornelia Guest. I, I met Cornelia, and I found her to be uh, fascinating. She's... Uh, comes from a whole different social strata. But it was always a friendship. It was never intended, uh, like the press, to say to go to marriage. Your mother said it was. I know. My mother says a lot you of things. You know how mommy is? <laughs> mother is impossible. And, and I gave up. I threw in the towel. I said, forget it. I'm on the ropes. Gas me for air. I can't take it. My mother is like, you can't stop it. You can stop a glacier if you push hard enough. You can stop a tidal wave, you build a wall, a bank, but you can't stop mum. <laughs> Forget it. And, and she's great in her own way. My mother is just irrepressible. She's unusual. I mean, she does things that are right out of a, a storybook. I mean, I got a mother who manages wrestlers. Doesn't Excuse everyone? <laughs> what me? does mommy do? <laughs> she manages wrestlers. And where is she now? She's taking tap dancing lessons. Excuse me? But she's great. She's great. And, and in her own way, she, she would kill for her children. You know, she would kill her children. <laughs>
<laughs> but to get back to Cornelia, even though Mummy would like you to marry Cornelia, it's a friendship, no marriage. Yes. And Vanna White? Um, I met Vanna ten years ago. And never, never, she doesn't owe anybody anything. She's never asked for a favor from me or anyone I know of. Are you and Vanna White more than friends? More than friends? I, I'd say we're, we're more than friends, yes, in the sense that uh, I can always call on her. I go out with her. But no, is it a love affair? Yeah. No. Is there anyone you're serious about? I don't know, it, that worries me to get serious right now. I am being protective. I don't want to get involved, so if I don't see someone consistently, mm -hmm. then I don't feel as though I'm going to uh, fall into a relationship that I feel I'm not prepared to be mm -hmm. in. You believe so much in fate and destiny. Yes. What is your destiny? I think I am a messenger. I've always believed that, kind of a, a teacher. I've been down, I've been poor, I've, I've been the lowest uh, a person can be in this business and come up, so I've seen every facet of it. So don't ever, the word impossible should go out, because I am a living testimony that miracles do exist through hard labor and dedication. You created Rambo and you created Rocky. Yeah. How would Rocky describe you? How would Rambo describe you? Me, yeah. good question. Oh, I think Rocky would say uh, he's, he's an okay guy. I, I think that he stays by himself too much. He's kind of a loner. And uh, Rambo, I think, would see in me someone he, just, he could hang out with, could talk to, who, who could understand his dark side. No, I, I think the characters would look back and say that, that he did us a good serve. He... he uh, he lived his life on his own terms. Uh, he fought his wars, he lost a few, but he never quit. He never quit. Quitting is too easy. Fighting is tough. Living is tough. Dying is easy. Living is tough. <laughs>